What's the meaning of this, India? You were put under Crow's command. A message from headquarters, Captain! You intend to capture and kill Agnes again, don't you? Well, I won't let that happen! Go on. Yes, sir. But... No, let her hear it. Sir! The message reads, Find the Vestal and keep her safe. Do not harm a hair on her head. Wait, you're not to catch and kill her? Why would the Lord Marshal give such a ludicrous order? We're to protect the Vestal from the Orthodoxy and its corrupting influence. How have you risen to this post without knowing that much? Oh, uh... I was just a bit confused, that's all. <laughs> Your words make no sense. It disturbs me that you think there can be any excuse for your actions. You shall have to learn the resolve of a knight, the hard way. Your father judged you to have come of age. That is why he assigned you to the attorney in Sky Knight. But you throw it back in his face. For shame.
sword was not up to the task. I am sorry, Lord... Marshal.
your deployment order hours ago. I'm Black Mage Hominus Crow, and I'm to be your superior officer, effective today. And don't expect special treatment just because you're the Lord M M Marshal's daughter. What's he talking about? First, I'd like you to answer a question, Ominous. When did I leave the Knights of the Eternian Sky? No questions. You'll speak when spoken to and not before, and watch your tone. Plus, I said there'd be no special treatment. Tell your valet or whoever to get out! And you, you, ah, it's you! You're the wind vestal from the wanted poster. What are you doing with Adia? I won't have it. I look forward to having her under my command. I won't let some Vestal ruin it! Oh, right. I think I remember this now. Maybe? Uh, anyway, listen, Ominous. Be quiet! Don't talk to me! You can't be real! So leave me alone! Ha! Ah, this is all some evil illusion brewed up by the Vestal! Let's see how it stands up to my... Fire! <laughs> What is with you people? Stay away from me! It's just not right! It's cheek of it!
There should be no more fires in town now. Just by himself. And now he's back with three friends? I shouldn't have gotten out of bed today. Whoa there, hold up! Isn't that a deal with them? Hmm. I knew that little hussy wasn't to be trusted. 
the Templar's daughter of all people. Hey, Idea! What's this all about? Have you gone and stabbed us in the back? Whoa, turn the volume down. I haven't been this riled up since this morning. Oh well, time for round two. Something's got them real mad. If you've come to finish the job you started, you're in for a surprise. You forget, I am a skilled white mage. Ha! I have already healed our wounds completely. Never underestimate your elders. <laughs> I'm back in action. Feel my fists of rage. <laughs>
guess this is the end of the line. These muscles of steel failed me. You've got to be kidding me, Barris. What are you doing? Stand up! Get on your feet and roar like you always do! I can't get into my rhythm otherwise! <sighs> you worthless worm. Adult. There's nothing worse than a man who lets women down. <laughs> How could you do this? What cruel brats. All that showing off. You really make me sick. They seemed... different from last time. You mean they weren't like that? Not quite, no. And they seemed surprised to see us. They said something about us bringing friends. Last time it was just you and me, Tis. Right. You survived that. Five minutes of lying still won't kill you. It might. I never tested it. That said, free ray sure comes in handy. I said hush. Do you want them to find out we're still alive? <laughs> We'd get to fight another battle, wouldn't we? Let's do it! Don't tempt me to finish the job myself. We're hurting bad. I wouldn't last another battle. And besides... Huh? Hmm. I wouldn't mind lounging around a bit longer. Just the two of us.
Look! This crystal has also reverted. Wait, something lurks nearby. Another creature back from destruction! Here they come!
and awaken the crystal before we are beset by more beasts. Of course. I'm ready, Eri. I'm sure you have the hang of it, but if there's anything you'd like to go over again, just ask. Time to get started, Agnes. Are you ready? Yes. Let us begin. Well done, Agnes! The Wind Crystal has been awakened! Are you alright, Agnes? You ought to rest for now. <sighs> yes. Thank you. I wonder if it will work this time. I hate not knowing if we're even doing the right thing. <clears throat> Ring a bell! My head! Feels like it's about to... Ring a bell! No. No. I told you. This would... Ah! Ring a bell. Ring a bell! Can you hear me? <gasps> Are you alright? You just collapsed out of nowhere. Are you not feeling well? I... I... I was frozen in fear. I failed. Failed to protect you. Huh?
Look! This crystal has also reverted. Wait, something lurks nearby. Another creature back from destruction! Here they come! Wait, 
Can I ask you something, Airy? Now? We're about to start the Rate of Awakening. But what would happen if she continued to pray to the crystal even after you told her to stop? How many times do I have to explain it? Haven't you been listening? The crystal would be destroyed if she didn't stop. And what happens if it's destroyed? What? That would be terrible. Mankind would no longer receive its blessings. Well, why can't we just do without its blessings? Wouldn't we get used to it? It's not a matter of getting used to it. I mean, without the crystals, we couldn't rid the world of darkness. It hasn't worked in two tries so far. I know, but that's not the issue here. Besides, if the crystals were destroyed, um, uh, the wind, it would cease forever, and fire would rage out of control. Water would turn putrid, and the earth would dry up. I see. Sorry for interrupting. <sighs> All right, Anyas. Let's try that again. It isn't a cure to rid the world of darkness. Ring a bell! <coughs> Are you all right? Uh, yes. Sorry about that. You sounded as though you were in terrible pain. No need to worry about me. I'm fine. <sighs> I've been wondering about something, Ringabelle. Since we came to this world, I haven't snapped at you to stop talking once. <sighs> it was every third word from my mouth before. I... I...
Welcome, Wind Vestal. I see you have companions, too. Well met. I am Daniel Gooden, commander of the Shield Bearers. I must apologize on behalf of my soldiers. They did not know who you were when they stopped you. No need to apologize. After all, you were kind enough to grant us the audience we saw. I am happy to accommodate you. Now, what is it I can help you with? We've come to these lands to journey to the Temple of Fire and awaken the crystal there. The Temple of Fire? I am afraid that... Yes, we are aware the way there has been buried in lava. What is the current status of the Mithril Mine? The Mithril Mine? The sword bearers have occupied it at times, though we usually wrest it back from them. Currently, it is not held by either side. I see. Thank you very much. Oh, would you be able to grant us permission to stay in Heart's Child? Of course. The Shield Bearers welcome the Vestal and her companions. Feel free to rest your travel-weary bones in town. Someone, show the Vestal and her companions the way. you can see in the middle of town, the commander's residence. Mrs. Goodman has been informed of your arrival, Vestal. Welcome to our humble abode, Windvestal. We are honored to receive you and your companions. I am Commander Goodman's wife. Please call me Eleanor. My husband has told me to receive you and your companions as guest of state, Vestal. Please make yourselves at home. Unfortunately, in a time of war, the hospitality I can provide is limited. Oh, there's no need to go to any trouble for us.
Thank <laughs> you.